Hello and welcome to my channel, or should I say welcome to Fragments for December. Again, I'm going to try my best to post as often as I can. I cannot guarantee that I'll be posting every single day, but this is my chance to let you know of some fragrances that I am in love with. Or, and I think you might want to look into before the holiday season shopping time comes, right? So uh, if you ever wanted to know more about Dua, uh, in th this is your chance. This is my winter scents that I will be pulling for uh, for the winter season. Uh, if you've never heard of me and this is my first time ever coming across your page, hello, my name is Claudia Nari. Welcome to my channel. And for all of my uh, fellow subscribers who come back each and every time, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the time. Subscribe, hit the notification so you make sure that you do not miss any video that I am posting. Uh, again, we are going to talk about my winter scents that I will be pulling for uh, I know that it's still kind of fall, but I wanted to make sure to get this out to you of what I'll be pulling for for December and probably the rest of the winter season. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then stay tuned. Right? I don't want to hold you, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to, it's a it's a decent amount of them, so I won't have time to tell you about each one of the notes. Uh, if I talk about one and you want to hear more about it, then in the comments, make sure you let me know, and then I'll do an individual video just on that one. So let's kind of get through these, right? My first one is going to be Dua Amber, and Dua Amp Dua Dua's Amber is their take on Amber Star by George Off. <laughs> this one is good. I really, I really like this one. And I haven't got Amber Star yet by George Off in my collection. My next one is going to be Valentine. Valentina. A Valen what is it? Victorian, I'm sorry. Lord. Victorian. And this is their take on 18, uh, 1861, I want to say. Uh, I can't, I can't read my writing. Uh, 1861 Renaissance. And this one here, this is a really good unisex fragrance. Um, I think this can be worn by men and women. Uh, a woman wearing this, you have to really enjoy vetiver. I will say that. You have to really enjoy Vetiver. So that's this one. Um, my next one is called Strawberry Chocolate and Oud. And this is their take on it. And I have the, uh, the name of the originals on the back of it. So that's what you see me looking at. Uh, this is their take on Magic Orum. You know what? And this is the one... I think I have this one. I just bought this one. Yes, I just bought this. If you have um, Orum by Georgia, their Kima line, that's this. That's this right here. So I might have to sell this one. I don't know yet. <laughs> because I I this year I bought I bought the actual one. Because I was gonna say I truly, truly, truly love this one. Like this one was so good oh my god this one was so good and that's probably why i bought i bought the georgia version of it um and i don't like to keep the inspiration of it when i have the original yeah that's this oh my god i love this one this one is so good but i said i wasn't going to go into the notes but i'm I, I probably need to do a comparison so if you want me to do a comparison between the original which is Orum by George uh from the Kima blend line. And this one here, then put put, put, a, put me a message and let me know that you want me to do a comparison. Oh, this is good. This one is good. This is really good. Okay. I see it and I already got off track. I said I wasn't going to go into each one of them. This one here is another one that I just bought. See, I, 
see that's how you know you have too many fragrances when you start going through them and you realize that you you bought the original mm -hmm. this one here is called illuminate right this is their take on starlight and again if you want to he hear the comparisons between starlight that i have from georgia and this from dua to see if it's the same let me know this is good this was really good it was so good for me because um if you don't know like i say this is your first time coming to my channel i use dua as like a very large decan and if i really enjoy it then i go out and i buy the original or i'll get the original and i think i did that with orum and i know for sure that i did it with starlight because i really i really enjoyed these here all right my next one is iris white chocolate Iris Rock White Chocolate um, is going to always be in my collection. I don't even know if they still have it on their website. And again, if I can find these on the Duo website, it'll be in the description where you can click and go directly to it. You don't even have to search for it. This one is their take on Iris Ganache by, um, by um, Guerlain. And I know that you can't get it anymore. So that's why I said that if this stays in the duo collection i'm gonna forever buy this one i really enjoy it and i did not get the irish um iris ganache when it came out but i really like this one so this is one one of the ones i'll be pulling for um really cozy uh for me uh being that it kind of gets really cold around late december january here in texas this might be my bed scent uh, because the iris is so, so powdery, so beautiful, like so clean, like just a clean yet gourmand fragrance. I like, I like this one a lot, obviously. I like all of them, but there are some that just has just taken me. Uh, this one here is called Takes, Takes Two to Tango. And this is their take on Tango by, um... I want to say is Mesquite Milano. I haven't, I haven't smelled this one in a while. Because I do separate my fragrances based on the season so that I can truly get a good wear out of all my scents. This one is really good. Um, I think that I'm still testing out this uh, Takes Two to Tango to even see if Tango is one for me. Uh, because I'm in a stage with my uh, fragrances where I just don't want to just buy to buy. Yeah. And I mean, I don't dislike it, but I, I don't love it enough yet to actually buy the full bottle. Okay, this one here, and I cannot see what this is. But I want to say it was um, Hermas Amber. I want to say this was their Amber one. But I can't see what it is. But I love Amber. Okay, the name of this one is called Am Amberlicious. And they really could not have named it anything but Amberlicious. Because if you love Amber, this is it. This is a good Amber Forward fragrance. A gorgeous Amber Forward fragrance. Yeah. Like if you love Amber, Amberlicious. I would get Amberlicious. And uh, Dua does a lot of different sales. Um, I do have a 15% off discount uh, where it's 15% off period and you don't have to catch it at the discount. Uh, of course, that'll be in the description. Uh, but it's my name. It's Claudia underscore Nari. Um, but again, it'll be in the description. This one here is called Sophisticated. And this was their, uh, th honestly, this is one from Chanel. And for me, I'm not big on Chanel fragrances, uh, but this is their, um, and I want to say it was Carmadol, um by Chanel. You have to like earthy patchouli. I would, I'll say that sophisticated you have to like earthy patchouli not so much that you like patchouli but like an earthy patchouli because the opening is that earthy patchouli but then it becomes this gorgeous gourmand 
fragrance. Like it, it's, it's one of them, like you have to get past the first note. So I will be honest. You have to get past that first note. If you're not into patchouli, this might be a no, but it's sophisticated, sophisticated, which is good. It's like a sophisticated gentleman, a, a sophisticated woman. This one here is Straight to Heaven Ooh. by Killian. This is their take on Straight to Heaven. And I, I keep telling myself, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy it. And I have not bought Straight to Heaven yet. This is another one that you have to get past that earthy patchouli note. And it's called Nirvana. And it's their take on Straight to Heaven. But if you have smelled Straight to Heaven, then you know that the dry down on Straight to Heaven is so beautiful. It is like dried fruit like a good dry apricot peach. Oh my God, it's so good. But it is a, a um, this is another weight fragrance. Like you got to give this 10 minutes because you got to get past the earthy um, patchouli. Nirvana, good. It's really good. Great dry down. The last two are beautiful dry downs. This one here, I never could really get into um I never could get into the original. So I've been kind of testing this one out and it's called Her Majesty Oud. And it's their take on Creed Royal Princess Oud. And Royal Princess Oud, the original, is still on my not sure list yet. Uh, so I'm still kind of playing around with this one. And it's one that I feel like, even though there's a dent, I don't know if you can see, there's a dent in it. Um... Even though I'm I'm wearing it, this is only cold weather. And I really don't want any more fragrances in my collection that is only Pacific to one season. I don't dislike this. I just don't love it. <laughs> it's one of them. Like, I just don't love it. And because I don't love it, I haven't bought the original one yet. Because it's no sense in having something in your collection that you don't love, right? You can like it, but I mean, who wants a whole collection of likes? You know, I want a collection of love. And I'm going to keep testing it. You know, I've been doing good with my testing, but I'm going to keep testing it. Now, these here are ones that I got this year. These, these next two I got this year. And also, well, all three of these I got this year. Um... Let's see. This one here, I got because um, I I have I have the original of this one, but I was gifted it, and I only got like a like a little bit when I when it was given to me. And this is called the cup, the cup bearer. The cup bearer is their take on um, uh, what is it? Um, Jardine or Jardine? I think it's Jardine. Oh my God, that one is so good. Like that fragrance is so beautiful. It's so sexy. It comes in this gold. Oh, here it is. It's closed. Okay. Is it is it, this one? And I hope hopefully you won't get the glare. Is this one here? But like I said, when I was gifted this one, I was only given like a little bit of it. Oh, and I just I just don't want to use it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I don't want to use it up, I got this one here from Dua. It's close. It's not a perfect match. It's not a perfect match, but it is. It's it's close. It's a close to it. But this, I'm gonna have to get the full bottle of this one. This one is so. Oh my god, this one is so beautiful. So this is my when I want to go somewhere and I want to smell like that one. But I don't want to use it because I don't have enough. Then I then I do this one here, and it's called the Cup Bearer. Okay, uh, my next one is I just can't get into Time Ford. Like um, honestly, to me, some of the Time Fords are just overpriced, um, just overpriced fragrances. But I got this one. I got this one as a sample, and I liked it. I really did. And it, it is, it's called Smoked Cherry. And it's their take on Cherry Smoke by Tom Ford. And if you like cherry, 
and you want a little more like spiciness to it, like almost cigar bar smokiness, then I think I think this version of it is good. The cherry smoke by Tom Ford was just really smoky to me, like almost like uh, thick smoke to me. Whereas this one is not thick smoke. It's smoky, but it's more cherry with a little smokiness. And that's smoked cherry by Dua. I like, I like this version better. Okay, and then the last one I have is called Miss Mobster. I love this one. I truly believe that this is going to be my next purchase. And it is um, Enigma Pure Film by Roja Dove. This is so good. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Yeah, I really do. I really think th this is going to be my next purchase. Like, I'm going to have to just... I'm going to have to just buckle down and buy it. Like, I'm going to have to buy it. Miss Mobster. And it, again, it is their take on Enigma Perfume by Roja Dove. And if you made it through all this video, and, I, and I, if I went too fast, I'm sorry, uh, kind of go through the video, find the ones that I'm talking about that you want to hear more about, let me know, and I'll do a more detailed one. We went through a total of... Thirteen, thirteen fragrances. Uh, if you are wearing some from Dua for the fall slash winter is season, uh, let me know. Tell us about it in the chat. Call them out. Call them out. And if um if I don't have them in my collection or I don't have them maybe in the fall, in the fall video. And again, my fall video, uh, I'm a post so that you can see that one. And of course, at the end of the video, I always post the Dua. Uh, playlist that I have of all the times that I've talked about Dua. Uh, and so I probably have it. Um, I'm trying to shrink my Dua collection and make more uh, purchases towards those, like the ones I really enjoy. Like we talked about the Illumination, which um, I have, which is Starlight. And the Orum one, which is strawberry white, uh, what was it? Strawberry chocolate and oud, which I have. I have the original. So that's again how I use Dua. Uh, it's it's like an extra large uh, decant for me. I always enjoy doing this with you. Please hang on here with me for the month of December. I'm trying to post far more than I post before. Uh, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So that way YouTube knows and thumbs this video up that you like my channel. I'm going to talk to you soon. See you later.